Hello everyone. Today I will show one way to create a family in which I can control the tilt, the uh, angle against the vertical axis for a solid or for a family. So basically the way I use to create this is I have two families, one inside the other. One will, will be the geometry and the other one I will have that I call here host. I will control its angle. How will I do that? First of all, let's create the geometry here. So let's create an extrusion here. Five. Okay. I will create this. Let's make it let's say 500. Okay. So let's go to the 3D. Oh, okay. I have my small solid here. To make this uh, workflow works, how do I do? First of all, I have to check work plane based and uncheck always vertical. Okay, so when I use this work plane base, it means that this family to be placed inside another family or inside a, a project will require a work plane or a, a level or something or a face of an object to be inserted in. Okay. Before we, we load this family inside the host family, let's prepare it because I, this is empty. I have nothing here. So I have to create a way to control the angle of the family, of this new geometry. How will I do that? To control angle, you cannot use reference planes. You should use reference lines. So let's create a reference line starting from the center to here. Okay, but I want to be sure that this line will move around the crossing of these two reference planes. So how do I do that? I use align tool, press tab until I see the small dot, and then I lock them to each other. Same thing to the horizontal reference plane. Uh, be aware that I'm selecting here, not the level, this is the level, but the reference plane. Okay, I prefer to do that. And let's create an angle here. So now let's create a tilt angle parameter to control this dimension. I will choose it instance one. Okay, so now I have a parameter here. Okay, now let's go back uh, let's see in the 3D. In the 3D view, I have the line, and when I select the line, I can see four planes one vertical, one horizontal, let's say, and one on each end. So I have these four planes. What I, I will use one of the planes in the end to place my family so I can control it. Okay, so let's go to the floor plan and I will select the plane. So I here I will come, pick a plane, and I will select. Here you can see this small square represents the plane associated to the end of the line. If I come here, I can see on the top of the line. I want to rotate around this, the origin, so I will choose this one, okay? So now I will load this family inside the host family. So I will use these two. Insert the family. So now when I want to place the family, I will select place on work plane. In the work plane I create. I can put anywhere. Okay, you don't need to be precise in the insert. Okay, I place it here. So now I will use align and make alignment here. Okay. This is I made in one axis. In the other axis, I cannot make here, okay? Because this will be aligned to the reference plane and this is not what I want. I will go to the front view and I will make alignment from this to the here, okay? So now, if we go to the 3D view, the, the family is with an angle, okay? And I can control it. How do I control it? Let's select here. I have the properties. If I put 
uh, let's say 20 degrees you see it's moving and if I put a negative angle it will move on the other in the opposite direction and I can go 90 degrees 0 180 I can use any angle that I want let's see how it works inside a project okay so now let's open let's create an, a project an empty one okay let's go here let's close this one and now let's load into the fam into the project so i have the family here let's see from the front okay south here i have it let's put some offset let's say 1000 let's go back to the floor plan so now i can see it if i change here the angle let's say 45 degrees it will just move around okay if i look from the from the side it will be controlled by this angle i can use any angle i i can put like 35 or minus 45 and using this technique is better than uh, rotating the family related to one of the act uh, using one of the planes along the line because when we use these planes when I reach zero or 90 degrees, I, we have some odd uh, behavior of the geometry. So this way is the easiest way to have some control and I can rotate it 360 degrees, which is very nice. Thank you very much. See you next time.